So one of the most frequently asked questions we get on Collaborative Warfare, aside from can I join, is can you build an orbital death laser? The answer is no, <laughs> um, to put it quite simply. And this video is to explain why making an orbital death laser in KSP is completely impossible. Now, I can't blame people for continually asking, despite how many times you say no, because the idea of an orbital death laser is pretty awesome. Um, but there are a few reasons why we can't do it. I mean, first of all, it's against our, our rules that we have in Collaborative Warfare, which is you can only engage within 10 kilometers. So if you had a weapon that could annihilate things from over 70, that would be uh, a, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, also, you'd have to set your load range, which I've got it now at 100,000 kilometers. Yeah, you'd have to set your load range to 100,000 kilometers. Um, well, at least 70,000 for it to work. And, well, we've got about 90 craft in Collaborative Warfare around Kerbin, so loading 90 craft at once will crash the game. That isn't even the biggest problem. So even if we could load in the craft, right? Even if we could, and we could somehow aim it, we'll we probably use remote aiming or guard mode maybe to perhaps aim it um, exactly on target. The biggest problem is the lasers included in BD Armory work off of an inverse square law sort of thing, which in layman's terms means that the damage of the lasers drops off exponentially. So it does quite a lot of damage at close range, but as soon as you get to uh, a couple of kilometers, um, and then, <laughs> let alone 70 kilometers, uh, the damage drops off, drops off pretty rapidly until you've got about as much power as a laser pointer, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate this now. So I'm going to, we're going to fly over to the KSC because obviously it's the biggest target we can get and we're going to see if we can blow something up. And. I'm not using a craft, I tried to put a craft on the ground, but um, even with your load range turned all the way up, you can't actually swap to that craft, um, so to make it big enough to see from orbit would kind of be impossible, so uh, we're having to use the KSC for this. So let's speed up time a little bit until we get round to the KSC. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really not feasible at all, and so even if you can hit things, which you can't, and it's against our rules anyway, an orbital death laser doesn't do any damage. Now this is around Kerbin, okay, so what we're going to do in a little in a little bit after we've uh, tested this out on the KSC, we are going to go have a look at the moon, and that's the one place where an orbital death laser is actually not a bad idea, because you can orbit, obviously since there's no atmosphere, you can orbit below 10 kilometers, so you can actually be inside the engage range, and uh, if you have enough lasers, they can probably do enough damage. Uh, anyway, we're coming up on the KSC now, so we're going to wait till we get about as close as possible, we're only just outside the atmosphere. We've got Jombie here piloting. Obviously, obviously, he has to pilot this this prototype. I think our here we go. Our range of lasers starts around here, and um, it's telling us occasionally the little crosses and stuff that we're out of range. Um, but well, we we don't uh, we don't listen to the scientists telling us we can't shoot lasers at the KSC. Right. So here we go. Now we've got to try and prevent the lasers overheating as well. But uh, yeah, you see how I, I'm not seeing any explosions. Nope, KSC is very much still there. Nope, oh, we overheated it. So yeah, KSC is uh, very much still there because <laughs> we're, we're literally all we're doing is making the cats in the office run around and <laughs> and go a bit wild. Okay, because the power of this laser is literally comparable to a laser pointer at 70 kilometer distance you just can't do any damage to anything okay so it just doesn't work okay however we are going to try this on the moon now so the one place that I might actually use uh, a giant orbital laser is actually airless bodies such as the moon which we will be fighting over well, <laughs> Twitchy and Agonarch have already been fighting over because it uh, holds ore, which has the key to nuclear weapons. Um, so anyway, I've got a little thing, which is just comprised of plates to make it a massive target so we can't miss it. And uh, we're going to try and shoot it. Now, we are at 10... well, not 10 kilometers. I think we should get within about 4 kilometers, judging by the altitude that this thing's at and the altitude that we're orbiting at. 
We won't have long to shoot at it, but uh, we should be able to do some damage to it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's actually this thing can actually be effective uh, over the moon. Because I, I still don't know if it will be able to. Because these lasers really are not powerful um, unless you're within at least like five kilometers. Uh, we can't target it for some reason, otherwise the lasers play up. Uh, but anyway, we just wait till we get within load range. And there we go. There we go, within load range. And we'll turn a little bit just to see if we can get it and fire. Try not to overheat the lasers. Oh, did we do any damage? Um, huh. Did we do any? Oh, we did some damage. Okay, so we heated them up a bit. We scorched them a bit. So, I guess these are structural plates, and that's the thing. Uh, they're structural plates, so... Can we... Uh, no. Okay, so yeah, they're structural plates, and... Yeah, so they've got a really, really high temperature tolerance. So with something probably a little less, uh, well, something other than structural plates, we might actually be able to do damage, and this could possibly be quite effective. But I could just use bullets. You know, when you get to that range, you know, that, so that sort of range, you could just use your bog standard bullets, which don't... Um, which obviously they, they don't actually um, the damage doesn't decrease with range so hmm, if you're getting within four kilometers I could just use a giant goalkeeper and possibly some missiles uh, yeah at this speed you could probably use missiles um, so orbital death lasers they're really not particularly practical okay as cool as they are um, unless we unless we got rid of the inverse square law or something yeah they just they just not it's not gonna work okay so can you guys please stop asking us? What you can ask us to do are make uh, those, uh, what's it, you know, Call of Duty Ghosts? It's called like the Odin platform or whatever, you know, shoots giant tungsten rods into things. Now that could work. That actually could. Um, if you would be able to be ridiculously accurate. It would probably take a lot of aiming, but that actually could work. So we might make something like that. I mean, I already made my drop pods and stuff. Um, but orbital death lasers? No. Not gonna work. Uh, so, sorry about that, guys. But... A lot of you have asked us to do it, so I just thought I should make this video showing you, so you finally shut up. <laughs> no offense, but it's getting a little annoying. So, death lasers don't work. Sorry, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.